Uh, some 30 residents and businesses on Pulau Ubin can now draw on solar energy and fuel from used cooking oil for electricity. A new microgrid is being tested on the island as part of government's push to explore more types of renewable energy. Tan Chi Kiang runs a provision shop at Pulau Ubin. He's used to relying on these diesel generators for energy, but they only run for 12 hours at a time and can be noisy. But with the new electricity microgrid, he now has a quieter, cleaner and more reliable option. It also means residents can install more high-power appliances. If I can add an air conditioner, it will be better. <laughs> will be better. Because all the wire here, because of the generator power, uh, sometimes it really cannot support this uh, uh, energy. The microgrid is built around the island's jetty area and comprises several solar panels that convert energy from the sun. The energy generated in a month is equivalent to the consumption of 25 four-room HDB flats over the same period. But to make up for the intermittency of sunlight, biodiesel is also used to fuel generators that supply electricity. Using electricity from the microgrid is also likely to be a cheaper alternative for residents here. For example, I'm told that to use a diesel generator like this, it will cost about $1.20 per kilowatt, as opposed to $0.80 cents per kilowatt to tap directly from the microgrid. But there may be some limitations to implementing such a grid on a national scale. We do have a limited land area and so how much you can cover and even if you cover all of the available land how much can it supply as a percentage of our overall energy needs so i think the general estimates are you know it can you know solar for example could potentially maybe supply five percent ten percent of our energy needs which is not insignificant but it cannot be the source of your base load efforts were also taken to preserve the island's rustic environment by running the cables underground